we are going to build a very small PC that's quite capable in its own right. And we are going to be using this Ryzen 7 7700X. We are going to switch it to Echo mode because the PSU in this Chopin unit is only 150 watts. There is a newer version with 200 watts PSU that should be capable of even running the faster 7900 CPU. We need to use a very compact core and this one only has 95 watts of dissipation capability. That is one more reason to lower the power of the CPU or just use the 7700 non-X. This is the Thermalrite AXP X36. It has four heat pipes and 92mm fan. G-Skill Trident Z Neo for AMD. It's one of the best uh, memories for this uh, platform at the moment. CL30. We will use this 2TB Western Digital Black SN850X. It's uh, rather big and quite fast SSD. And the motherboard is the MSI MPG B650iH Y5. Let's start building. The uh, retention mechanism of uh, AM5 is mounted on the backplate, so it's, let's say, not removable. One thing we should note is that the screws for the mounting are tiny, and we managed to pass them directly to the screw holes in the AM5 socket backplate. This way we managed to mount the cooler without removing the backplate. Also, due to the size constraints in the Inuin Chopin, we used the screws for Intel mounting, which appear the same, only slightly shorter. Luckily, they are just long enough to start screwing the nuts on the backside. amps on the 12 volt so maximum power consumption is 120 watts part of it will go to the ssd and the chipset so 95 watts on the cpu seems quite reasonable With a lot of pain and suffering, we put it in the case. Let's see if we can really mount it with the screws. Putting the memory again after dismounting it for inserting the motherboard. And it's time to close it. And we are ready with our tiny powerful PC.
Duty calls. Degeneracy. The downfall of civilization. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.